Hi guys, welcome to another video with April. Today it's July 15, 2011, and today is just going to be a quick vlog um, about something really weird and creepy and um, thing that happened to me today. So anyway, let me just go ahead and cut to the straight, to the point. So um, I woke up this morning, I grabbed my phone, um, I started looking through, you know, Facebook comments and stuff. And um, I realized that one of my friends had put in, he was disappointed with his life or with the morning. So I, you know, I went ahead and comment back. I was like, hey, you know, don't let disappointment ruin your entire day. It's Friday. Um, go out with your guys and it'll always make you feel better. So just my luck, um, I went to the bathroom. Eugene was heading out to work already. I went to the bathroom. He opens the door. He's like, hun, hun, there's a cat. There's a cat. I'm like, there's a what? He's like, there's a cat. So right when I was walking out of the bathroom, the cat just like, flew by ran to my bedroom and laid on my bed and i don't like cats i am i don't like cats i'm scared of cats um unless they're like little tiny kitty cats then it's fine but those big cats i'm scared of so and this was the type of cat it was so i was just like i went to i picked to my bedroom eugene left because he's still in a probation with his work that he just started so he left and I'm just like, okay, what am I going to do now? So I looked in my bedroom and the cat was hissing like, <sighs> like that. And I was scared. I'm just like, oh my God, what am I going to do with this cat? Um, Eugene's left. My dog is scared of the cat. My dog is a miniature poodle and he's tiny and this cat was bigger than him. And I was scared. I'm like, oh my God. And I guess the cat was also scared of my dog at the same time. Like, they didn't understand each other, I guess. And, um, yeah, so I was like, oh, my God. And my bedroom, my cell phone, and also my um, iPad was in my bedroom. So I couldn't, like, I didn't have anybody's phone number to call except on top of my head that I know it was my sister's phone number and um eugene's phone number so first i called eugene i started crying i'm like hun it won't leave like i don't know what to do and it, it's hissing at me i started crying on the phone because i couldn't even go inside my bedroom because i was really scared of this cat and when i say scared i was terrified i thought in my head i'm like if i try to like say to leave It'll probably like scratch me or bite me and it'll probably have like sickness and I'll get sick with it. But um, so yeah, that was all running in my head. Like I was really scared of this cat. So I called Eugene. I was crying. I'm just like, come back, come back, you know, come back. He's like, I have to call work first. And so I'm just like, okay. So I called my sister. I'm just like, Michelle, I don't know what to do. There's a cat in the house. She's like, what? I'm like, yes, there's a cat in the house and it won't leave. It's in my bed and it's hissing at me. She's like, okay, okay, I'll call Animal Control. So um, a few minutes, I was just sitting outside in the porch waiting for it to like, I guess get up and leave and walk out of my house but no even my dog was like going back and forth to the bedroom to come out and see me and to make sure I guess I was okay and so I'm like I'm like waiting there for five minutes and I call my sister back I'm like did you hear anything from the animals um the services and she's like no they're not picking up but she called the police and they should be coming I'm like okay so what I did is I went inside the bedroom, I went inside to my house, I went straight to my sister's, you know, bedroom and they started Twittering, I started Facebooking because I really didn't know what to do and I had no clue what to do. So I was like, you know, anybody, I'm like, well, how can I make it leave? So I looked outside and Eugene came back. I'm like, yay, my hun to the rescue. So he came, he's like, hun, honey bunch. And I'm just like, it's still in the bed. And he was like, what are you doing in the bedroom? I'm just like, I'm scared. And so um, he smiled and he went to the bedroom. He started petting the cat like as if it was his own and started talking to it. And um. So he tried to lift the cat and I guess the cat was like, don't touch me. 
and it started to like bite him but it wasn't biting him in a bad way i guess it was like a gentle bite and i'm just like oh my god it's biting you he's like no it's just you know he's licking me and at the same time it's biting me in a gentle way i'm like okay i'm like come on get it out of the bedroom already he's like yeah but he's scared of the dog and so i was calling my dog my dog would not listen because i guess my dog was jealous of the fact that eugene was touching this cat and then the phone rings and it was the police he said hey are you home can you open the door i'm just like the door is open he ended up to be in the wrong house but good thing it was just like right behind my house and so he came and he's like what happened i'm just like well there's a cat and it won't leave and i'm scared of it i'm like my fiance is here but the cat is like hissing and you know eugene got it out of the bedroom but the police told us to just keep it in the house until the animal control comes in and gets it and so eugene had to run back to work so i'm just like oh so um since the police was here i went into my bedroom and i started like um using my lint roller to get out the hair so i started taking this out because i'm just like i am not about to have asthma so i went ahead and like you know take out the hair all over my pillow and all over my um comforter so yeah and then it took a while for the animal control to come in but um the cat was in the living room was i guess just sitting around it peed on the floor which i cleaned already and then um and so yeah um so the animal control i was still in the bedroom i closed the door because i didn't want it to have it to come back in and um the animal control came and they took the cat i felt bad that the cat was like i guess crying and i think it was pregnant that's why it was trying to like bite eugene when he was trying to get her and i think it was pregnant and eugene said i think he it was pregnant so um and i was i was a little sad when it started when you know the animal control took her and he's like i guess crying but i really don't like cats and um anything that i say right now i don't mean to go out to the people who loves cat because i'm a dog person and some people don't like dogs so so yeah and yeah that is my story of the day I, I was like i was really scared i've never been scared of a cat in my whole entire life but i guess now i'm gonna have that trauma in my head of like a mean cat that's like <sighs> at me <laughs> so anyways also just a very late shout out um before we go i just want to say happy birthday justin you are seven years old now happy 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 birthday um i love you so much um this is my nephew i love you and i miss you take care boo boo bye